and welcome to our first episode of CSUMWA TV. I'm Alexandra Allfield. I'm Barbara Tyler Allfield. And we are the founders of CSUMWA. And today we are featuring our first guest, our good friend, philanthropist, businesswoman, inspiring, amazing Glamazon, Viviana Puelo. Welcome, Viviana. Hi, Alex. Welcome. I'm excited. <laughs> we love your background. You're underwater yes. and already healing. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And Barbara's amazing, amazing work here. So. <laughs> yes. So, um, Viviana, I'll introduce you and then I'm going to let my mom kind of give some insight into how we all know each other. Um, Viviana, for those that don't know, you should know about this amazing woman. Uh, she's the Chief Executive Officer of Art Tour International, which is a global magazine of artists, which you can see she has on her background. Um, she's also the Editor-in-Chief of the magazine. Uh, she's the producer and uh, celebrity personality of Art Tour International TV show. Um, and she's also the Director of Vivid Arts Network. She's also a mama, uh, an animal lover, and in honor of Mother's Day, we're, we're so thrilled to feature her. We certainly are. And we met Viviana at Art, at, at Art Expo in 2017, where we were in adjacent booths, both showing our artworks. And Viviana had many artists that she was showing on her walls. And we got to know each other then. And we developed what I think was a very unique and special relationship. She's been great to know business-wise, but also is a personal uh, communication person that we really love. <laughs> yeah, Viviana, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. I'm so honored, really. Oh, we're honored. Yes, we, we are. We love your signature uh, that you have listed on your background, Stay Inspired. Yes. And you are so inspiring to so many artists all over the world, yes. so many business owners um, and friends like us. And we wanted to know, you know, we really see you as a Sisu leader and as somebody that is somebody that people should know about that has quite a story. Um, so we'd yeah. love to kind of hear about your Sisu story and how you came to be this super successful, amazing woman in New York City and global traveler and kind of what your background is and maybe some of the challenges that you went through to get you where you are today. Okay, um, I'm gonna start backwards. So I can tell you that I think the biggest challenge that I ever had because of my background was uh, believing in myself, trying to get to that point of, mm -hmm. I believe I can do this, okay? Um, so, to start, I was born in Colombia, in South America, Caribbean, beautiful city. I had quite a challenging uh, childhood. I'm uh, not going to get into much detail, but, you know, I, I suffered abandonment from my parents. Um, it was very difficult. And I grew up really shy. So by the time I was, I think I was 12 or 13, um, I went to school and discovered art. And that was kind of a, a click there, something that uh, inspired me, got me, you know, kind of coming out of the box there, uh, there to smile, to talk. When you are a kid, that is so important. You know, you're so shy. You don't even want to talk to other people, etc. So that helped me a lot. And I became totally and madly in love with art uh, in all forms music, uh, I play the guitar, I play the piano, I love to paint, anything art related, that's me. <laughs> and uh, well, then I went through uh, a situation, I got married, I came to the US, I got divorced, I was very young. And I had my kids, uh, and while the, you know, they were growing, I kind of um, looked for art as an outlet to just develop my that inner, you know, desire to, to express everything that I had inside. And once I realized they were big enough so that I could venture out, I started working as a full-time artist, first of all. And it was never enough for me. I am curious, you know, it's, it's something unique. I think my case is strange 
because I really get inspired by other people, not just inspired by looking at their work, but I'm inspired by promoting these artists. And it really started the same way. I started with Vivid Arts out of something that, you know, we needed to do. I was always showing somebody else or bringing uh, the artist works to the exhibitions. They were friends of mine. And, you know, uh, there was a point when I found myself driving a U-Haul full of, you know, paintings that were not mine. <laughs> so I was doing this work <laughs> before it even started. <laughs> so, yeah. And, uh, and that's how Vivid Arts Network came about. And I worked with Vivid Arts for about 10 years. I learned so much and I felt much more in love with the work. And uh, two years later, I created r International and I had an incredible support with my husband. So we met. Um, if I tell you the love story is too long. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cutest story. It's very cute. <laughs> so we met in Italy through my work with Vivid Arts, traveling. I was, I was volunteering as a curator. And he went to pick me up at the airport. Um, the person who was supposed to pick me up didn't show up. So he showed up with my name like that. And I was like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> and, uh, and that's how, you know, that's how we met. We worked together for a little while, became friends, and then got romantically in, in love and involved. And partners as well. So, you know, it has been a great support uh, from artists everywhere since we started. It's been incredible. And that keeps us going. And I think it's just my passion for art that brought me where I am. You know, I try to learn as much as I can. I started business administration when I was very, very young. So that helped a lot. And I keep reading and I keep learning. Um, I love marketing and advertising. And I do it because I love it. So I really You're believe so great in advertising. Out. Otherwise, yeah. you know, I wouldn't be working with Arthur International. I really believe in that. So um, that's something that we got into and technology and video, all that. You know, my husband is a filmmaker. He loves it. So everything we do here is, is passion. And, and that's how my life kind of, you know, revolves around what our heart desires and and that's how, that's what attracted me to Barbara because she's, I mean, her work is so amazing. And, and it's the same. She just follows that, that inspiration. And so many artists are, you know, most artists are like that. So it's a fun so. life. We're lucky. Do. we're lucky. Yes. Yes. Less. Completely. Yes. I think totally. there's, uh, we have everything that we need and we don't need anything, you know? Um, in the sense that we have everything, even if you're not an artist, we have everything that we need to be successful in life right in there. It's I a matter know. of, like I said, you know, that challenge of believing that you can do it yes. because we all have dreams. We all have dreams. We all have goals. Uh, it's a matter of believing because sometimes we sabotage ourselves and then we, we think it's not for me and it's, just you not getting up and doing the work or not believing. So if you don't believe, you don't do the work because you don't believe. And that's, that's what happens. So, you know, if you stay inspired, you know, that yes. gets you going. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's Viviana's signature line. She's always empowering artists and everybody she comes yes. across to stay inspired. And, you know, what's so inspiring about that is, you actually live that, you, live you know, it. you, yeah. you are inspired by your own gift and your, your connections with other people's gifts to bring together and bring change and positivity mm -hmm. to the world. And, you know, it's like you said, people self-sabotage and they may have a yeah. sense of their gifts, but they forget. So mm -hmm. was that something that you always had as a kid? Like, let me listen to me or was there something that kind of really ignited that passion in you and that wisdom? I think it, well, when I was a child, um, I remember, well, I went to um, Catholic school with nuns and all girls, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> they were very spiritual. And I have to say that in, that was a great influence in my life. Because since early age, I started with 
the idea and the concept of faith. And I think that kicks in, you know, when you want to do and you want to dream. Is that yes. faith or the yeah. faith is hope mm -hmm. in the future or, or what you're doing? Yes. But if yeah. you have faith, um, it goes hand in hand. In, in my experience in life, it's, uh, it goes hand in hand. So my spiritual journey takes me to where I am right now. So whatever I'm doing, it's only a facade of what's going really on behind the scenes in, in my, you know, in my soul, in my spirit, in that discovery of what I really yes. am. So that I think that that's what ignites there. And since a little girl, yeah, I, I guess. It is, and it's yeah. a real groundedness. And, and you do hear that from so many that are living their gift that mm -hmm. there's yes. There's a faith, there's a hope, there's a, a deeper understanding of your mission, you know, yeah. here. And, you know, you mentioned Alan and that he's a filmmaker. He's an award-winning filmmaker. He's yes. an incredible yes. artist. They both are. Yes. The cutest couple. Mm -hmm. And yes. they are, and yeah. they, but they both are living their gift. Yes. And yes. I think that's what's so special. Yes. What would life be like if we were all living our gifts like that right. you know true and we all have so many gifts you know yes um i think it's so important to like to let children know that because we need we need to do that it yeah. was hard for me because i had such a difficult childhood um that i didn't have that early early you know so i had to Support. kind of discover that on my own but if we Take the kids since they're young and, and tell them how valuable they are, how gifted they are, and how yes. different and unique, you know, each one of us is. It, this world will be incredible. Heaven on earth, you know, mm -hmm. because yes. we all have so many gifts. I mean, incredible things that inspire True. one another. Yes. Too. Yeah, and I think you sure. having a, a, a sense of your own healing and connection gifts and how those are some of your gifts and whether it's with your children and inspiring them or through philanthropy, um, Viviana is really an incredible connector and healer through art. Um, Viviana, can you tell us a little bit about Create for Peace and some of the initiatives yeah. that you're involved in? Yeah, so Create for Peace is our nonprofit organization and is dedicated to supporting artists and supporting and bringing awareness um, through the arts for a better world, as cliche as that could sound, right? Um, but it is, it is um, the connection of international artists sending the peace message. So we've had incredible experiences um, to show that the individual really wants peace. So the work yes. and the enemies and all that happens at a higher level when leaders and country leaders, but the individual, the actual individual wants peace, wants, you know, has love and it's full of love and joy. So that's what Create for, for Peace is about. And, and it comes from, you know, events. Um, we have different programs. Uh, one of them is in Colombia, you know, trying to uh, feed children who are going to school and don't have any any food at home. So trying to help uh, low-income schools uh, develop resources so they can feed the children when they go to school at least so these kids have something to eat. And uh, my most recent uh, initiative right now and that just, just started and we're going to develop it and it's bringing materials to artists. Uh, who need, you know, to create and are in, caught in this pandemic and, you know, affecting finances and everything. Right. And, mm -hmm. and for me, I know it's like people are thinking about delivering food and I'm thinking about how do we make it to deliver artworks or yes. material. And it's as important as feeding people because yes. the artists who cannot create gets depressed. You know, it can affect their, their mental health. That's so true. So it, like, it's a stop yeah. to, I don't know, it, it's not not being able to work. It, it's worse than that mm -hmm. for the artist. 
So we have a lot of artists right now who are home. They cannot paint. They don't have anything. And it's like frustrating on top of everything that's happening. So I hope that this is going to grow and, and we're going to be able to help a lot of people. A wonderful idea. It is. That's incredible. Yeah. I love it. And it is true. If, if it's your passion and your gift and your purpose and you can't deliver, you know, you're yeah. unable to, to live it. Yeah. You know, you'd, you'd mentioned, and I know we, we only have a couple minutes here, which is so upsetting because we love talking to you always. But can you tell us, Viviana, you know, why is that so important? You know, what do artists give to the world that's meaningful that can be healing now? Yeah. So the process, I can get really deep into this, but um, the process of the healing process that the artist goes through starts from the creative process. From the painter sitting down to paint or the sculptor sitting down, the musician creating, playing the instrument. Mm -hmm. But for visual artists, I think it's so important because they're developing this incredible resource while they're creating. Uh, that's their outlet, but at the same time, I strongly believe that incredible healing energy that the artist is emanating when they're creating. I believe in that. So that yeah. that goes out, you know, that goes out. Those are waves of energy covering, you know, our planet, and that's waves of healing energy going out. Yes. And then the artwork, the actual artwork that is healing. Uh, this is this is you know this is something that I, I look at that I don't care how I feel I I put it this morning I'm like I need to meditate and I'm looking at this it's so inspiring it just you know it affects you like it would affect you um, maybe a song some mm -hmm. people are more uh, sensitive to the visual I am personally mm -hmm. so that's that's so important and right now I think we need it. Yes. More than ever. We need yeah, to see the, we need to see the world is beautiful, you know, we need to see the the beauty that we have and that we're missing out because we can't go out or you know, right. we need to believe the world is gonna come back to beauty and maybe even more. Because maybe we learn through this that we need to take care of our environment and you know, things will get better. Yeah. Absolutely. That's so well said. It really is. And it is true, you know, the, the healing power of art. And we're just so inspired by you, your story, your mission through all of the work that you're involved in and healing the world and with Create for Peace. You know, I, I think people listening today or watching are probably thinking, I need to get in touch with myself or right. I want to make an impact. Right. So Viviana, if there are artists that want to connect with you, what's the best way to do that? I think the best, the best way is either um, follow me on uh, Facebook or Instagram, uh, Viviana Puelo Art, or uh, just email me at art to international and it's info at art to international.com and that's very easy and, yes uh, i'm happy i connect with everyone so there's no, no like you know, person. instantly yes. <laughs> a little person I, I they come directly to me i really enjoy the direct contact with the artist that's like my favorite part of the work really it's a wonderful gift that you have it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank You're you. such a gift. We love yes. we love you. We yes. love your time. Thank you so much for being our first guest of Sisu Moi TV and our partner with Create yes. for Peace yes. in our Shop yes. for Good initiative. We're so honored. We're so honored um, to help try to make an impact. And if you or anybody else you know is interested in getting involved, please reach out to Viviana. We thank everyone for their time today and Viviana, do you want to close us out with your with your signature line? Yes, I just want to say that you guys are incredible, incredible, incredible. Your um, wonderful accessories are amazing, and anybody that gets a piece of season one is gonna be inspired by Barbara's amazing work. Um, I have no words. I really have no words. They have to go in and check out on the website, and they're gonna understand what I mean and. And that's it. And, you know, keep going 
Shopping season one, stay inspired. Yay! Yay! You inspire us. You inspire us. Love you so much. Thank you so yeah. much for a beautiful interview. And you. looking forward to staying inspired together. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Bye.